If you watch my shorts, you know how much I preach good posture, specifically the Kawhi Leonard posture. My brother's favorite basketball team is the Toronto Raptors, and whenever we would watch games, I would always talk to him about how crazy Kawhi Leonard's posture is. His back is literally in a concave shape because his shoulders are constantly in a retracted position. If you ask bodybuilders about building an aesthetic physique, they're going to say the chest, the shoulders, the arms, but they never mention posture. It's probably because they have no idea how to correct posture, but posture is the most slept on attribute for an aesthetic physique. I want you to pause this video and look at yourself in a mirror. First, I want you to stand with terrible Nate Diaz posture, and then second, I want you to stand with good Kawhi Leonard posture. This is a perfect example of how posture affects your physique. I'm not saying that posture magically gives you a good physique, but it definitely maximizes the physique you already have. Standing with good posture maximizes your height and the width so you get that nice V taper. You might be thinking, Martin, your posture isn't even that good. While you might be right, I've been working on my posture for a couple months now and noticed massive improvement because my posture used to absolutely suck. I was that skinny, insecure, shy kid with terrible posture. And when I started lifting weights, I noticed a little bit of improved muscle mass, but since I was following a typical bodybuilding routine, my posture didn't get any better. I had looked up posture videos on YouTube, but none of them worked for me. It wasn't until my fifth year of physical therapy school where I actually learned about the muscles involved in posture and how to fix it. In physical therapy school, I learned about postural dysfunctions and how to fix them to assist with pain in patients. But it can also be used for aesthetic reasons, and for you watching this video, having good posture will maximize your current physique. My brother Mario Rios has a great physique, but he could have an even better physique if he gets better posture. Because I'm the best brother in the world and I'm here to make fitness great again, I'm going to be giving my brother Mario, the most toxic influencer in the fitness industry, a personalized posture program. In this video, I'll be applying physical therapy concepts to fix my brother's posture. My brother's main postural impairments are gonna be rounded shoulders and depressed shoulders. First, I'll start with rounded shoulders because it's a more popular issue and it will actually make the biggest impact on my brother's physique. Rounded shoulders are caused by weak muscles that are not holding you in the correct position, as well as tight muscles that are pulling you in the opposite position. For rounded shoulders, the weak muscles are going to be your mid trap, low trap, and serratus anterior, and the tight muscle is going to be your pec minor. So those weak muscles aren't holding you back in a strong position, and your tight pec minor is pulling you forward. So in order to fix rounded shoulders, I have to strengthen my brother's weak muscles and stretch my brother's tight muscles. You might be thinking, I hit my mid and low traps all the time, so they're probably pretty strong. This could not be further from the truth. I bet if I tested the strength of your mid and low traps right now, you test super weak. My brother Mario has been lifting for five years, and I tested his mid and low traps. He tested a three plus out of five in both categories with five being normal. The scoring a three plus is pretty much the lowest score you can get as a healthy young individual. The reason why your mid and low traps are weak is because they're not assisting you in the movements that activate them like a barbell row. This is because if a muscle cannot work in an isolated fashion, it cannot participate in a functional movement pattern. So testing my brother's mid and low traps showed that he's not able to use them in an isolated fashion. So it won't be able to participate in a functional movement pattern, AKA in something like a barbell row. Having weak mid and low traps is super common. In my physical therapy class, out of all the students, I was the only person not to test a three. And I only tested a four, which means I still got a little bit to go. But now onto the exercises. So to get the most out of his session, since I'm pretty much a doctor at this point, I prescribed my brother some man sports pre-workout. Man sports have a bunch of supplements to help you reach your goals. My favorites being their protein powder, which I like the peanut butter flavor. This has to be the best flavored protein powder I've ever had. And their Jolly Rancher flavored ISO EAA to help me get hydrated in the morning. I'll leave a link in the description and if you use code martin you get a discount at checkout so to start with my brother mario's posture program we're going to attack the rounded shoulders first because i think that's the most important part for an aesthetic physique so first we're going to start with wide raises because i feel like typically most people have weaker low traps and mid traps so for this exercise and all the other ones because we're more isolating smaller muscles it's really important to get the mind muscle connection so the amount of weight you use really isn't important. It's all about contracting the correct muscles. So you see here, I'm barely using 7.5s. And honestly, 7.5s might even be a little bit too heavy. But I've been doing this for a while, so I'm like, this is actually pretty strong. So for this exercise, your upper trap is gonna wanna take over. So the cue that I like to give is keep your shoulder down, because if you raise it up, that's all upper trap. And then focus on bringing your shoulder blades in like that. So you really focus on using your low traps. So you go here and then Y raise, boom, upwards like that. Keeping that low, the trap down, and then contract. And a lot of you guys mentioned that when I do my shorts that I don't, that you guys don't have access to cables. So you can actually do a variation on the ground or on a bench. So I can literally just go on a bench here, lower it, and I'll just do it facing you. And then just go here and then come up. 
Same thing can be done with T-raises as well. So I'll show you the T-raises. This one I like to just grab onto the cable like this. Same thing with this one. You're gonna wanna go low, low weight. And the first thing you're gonna think is, wow, this looks exactly like a rear delt fly. Well, it's different because of the way that you're cueing yourself. So for a rear delt fly, you're thinking about moving, moving your arm. You think about moving your arm out wide. But for a mid trap, you think about cueing your shoulder blades. So bringing them in towards the inside. And if you're doing two, which these are too wide to do two, but if you're doing both at the same time, it's bringing your shoulder blades together. So you go here, and then really, really think about moving your shoulder blade here. Inside, hold it, really feel that mid trap. If you're feeling in your rear delts, that means you're moving your arm too much. Moving the scapula inwards. So you guys see here, he's really, really focusing right here, guys, right here. Focusing on bringing that shoulder blade. You can literally see it moving here. Instead of using the rear delts, that's just moving the arm. He's thinking about moving that shoulder blade in towards the middle. Here are the Y raises. Uh, come farther, higher up. You're doing more of like an external rotation there. Yeah, so I have to help him there because he was doing more external rotation. It's got to be a Y raise. There we go. And you guys see, he's going to keep this shoulder down so the upper trap doesn't come above. There we go. And then he's going to still contract here coming towards the middle. There we go. And this one is honestly super, super hard. I mean, he's struggling here with two and a halves. So here's the most toxic influencer, Mario Rios, doing this race punches. He's been doing him for a little bit, so he's actually pretty good at it. But you see all the motion is here at the, sh it's here at the shoulder and, and the scapula. Boom, no, not much trunk movement here. And then you're gonna feel it right here on the inside. Hopefully that looks good, yeah, right there. So now onto the stretch for rounded shoulders. Because of daily activities, like think about it, when are you ever doing something with your shoulders back or, or everything that you're doing essentially is up in front, like using your phone, going on the computer. And also with a lot of the benching movements, you get really, really tight chest. You can use it on a door frame or any kind of pole here. So I see a lot of people doing stretches like this when that's mostly a bicep stretch. So that's why I like to kind of anchor here at the elbow to make sure I'm focusing primarily on the pec minor here. And then you're gonna kind of twist and lean forward. And then you get a good stretch here in your pec. And we're looking for like a light stretch here, guys. We're not trying to kill ourselves, but you can literally see his chest being stretched yeah. out right here. And I think for my brother Mario in particular, he just has really, really tight muscles. So that's probably the leading contributor to his rounded shoulders. So doing this like twice a day would be beneficial for him. The second postural impairment my brother has is depressed shoulders. The main causes of depressed shoulders are tight lats and weak upper traps. My brother has big upper traps, so you're probably shocked that they're pretty weak. My brother and I focus more on lat development to get that V taper, so we don't really do much shoulder shrugging. His upper traps probably grew from exercises like the deadlift and many other exercises where upwardly rotating the scapula is involved. My guess is that his upper traps grew very well from deadlifts. But since my brother Mario never trains his upper traps directly, my guess is that his upper traps aren't highly active in his resting posture which leads to depressed shoulders. It also likely has tight lats because he never stretches them. If you look at the anatomy of the lat, you can see that it attaches here on the arm. So a tight lat is actually gonna pull your arm down. So for Mario to fix his depressed shoulders, he needs to stretch his lats and strengthen his upper traps. All right, so now we're gonna be working on my brother's depressed shoulders. He actually has huge traps, so you would think that he wouldn't have depressed shoulders, but the exercises that we do don't particularly work upper traps isolated. And they also we also don't do a lot of shoulder elevation, which I think his upper traps are strong, but just like the tonality and just like the neuromuscular education of his traps, they're not engaging during his posture like we would like them to. So that's why we're gonna work on some strengthening. So we're just using these kettlebells. You can just use normal dumbbells and just like normal shrugs. Uh, I, there's a lot of body rules that say lean forward. Some say straight up. Honestly, for me, whichever one you feel the most is the one that I would do. So for me, I kind of like a slight bend, just coming up and then slowly coming down. There you go. This guy is, this is a foreign exercise for him. Yeah. Yeah, those look pretty good. And he has big traps, but I just think that they're just not engaging during his posture. And you gotta think that like, if your shoulders are depressed, you're not getting the, that width, the maximal width that you would like in your physique. So this is gonna be a good exercise for those of you guys who have depressed shoulders. So the stretch for depressed shoulders is gonna be a lat stretch. If you think about it, like your lats insert in your humerus here. So if it's tight, it's gonna be pulling that shoulder down. So we wanna get a good stretch on our lats, especially for my brother Mario. We both love to hit lats. We both love to hit back, but hitting a lot of back and not stretching it out, it's gonna get it tight. So you can find any sort of pull here, and then you wanna 
Step here and then lean and bring your pelvis backwards. And then you're gonna feel a good stretch here in your lats. I'll do it with my left so you can kind of see better. Go here, lean backwards. And almost, you can even tilt to the side, get an even better stretch here in your lats. So for the reps of the strengthening exercises, I'm gonna give my brother a rep range of 10 to 15 reps. This is a good rep range to allow him to focus on the mind-muscle connection and recruit the muscles we're trying to recruit. And he'll be doing the strengthening exercises about three times per week. And for stretching, he's gonna hold the stretch for 30 seconds for three rounds every single day. And that's how the most toxic influencer, Mario Rios, will get that Kawhi Leonard posture. Thanks for watching the video. If you're looking to build your most athletic and aesthetic physique, check out RiosTwins.com. The link will be in the description. Comment what video you wanna see next.